Hi everybody, it's Becky from the Craft Preston store and today I'm going to be showing you screen printing. So we're going to do some lovely bees and some hexagon shapes and we're going to combine them shapes together and make a card for you guys. So before I get started, I want to tell you about the competition that's going on in the store um, and online. So you can check that out. So if you, it's Artists of the Year and it's between so junior adults and students and you get to win a bundle worth of £300. So, like I said before, it should be on the screen for you guys to see. Check it out and please enter and we'd love to see all your crafts and makes and everything that you're doing. So, I'm going to get started. I'm going to show you all my bits that are around me for you guys to copy. And hopefully you can do some, send some pictures in and we'd love to see what you guys are up to too. So, I have two screens just so I can be, it's a lot easier for you guys to follow. And then I've also got my screen printing ink. There is lots and lots of colours for you to choose from. So please check them out um, in store and also online. We have these system free screen printing. So these are for like for t-shirts, uh, fabrics, different materials, cards, whatever you like. These ones are not heat activated so you don't need to iron them afterwards. You can let these sit out on your materials and they will just dry and then you can wash them with no like it coming off. So these are really, really good for that. I also have some spoons with me today to use to put the ink across. We do, it within the sets you can actually have the top open and you can pull it all the way across your screen. But I do find it a lot easier that I can just put it across there with using my spoons. So I'm going to pop those to the side and show you my squeegee that I'm going to be using. So this is our squeegee here. So I'm going to use two of these just so I don't need to be cleaning them in between. But if you are doing these at home, these need to be cleaned as soon as you've used them. So I'm also going to show you one of these really cool sets that we have in store too. So this is a grab and go set. It has everything that you need. So you've got all your paints, you've got your palette knife. So you, instead of using a spoon, you can use a palette knife to put across your screen, your squeegee, and you've got some textiles and printing mediums across there for you to use too. So I think this is like around £40 price range, which is an absolute bargain because you get obviously all the inks that you need and it's ready for you to grab. So I've also got, just going to show you some materials that you can use this on too. We have the banner, which is my absolute favourite to use for like gifts or like personal use. You can use for Christmas, Halloween, christenings, weddings, whatever you want. So you can do whatever design on there and then you can pop it on there and it's personal for you to give to someone. Pop that to the side. We have our um, bags that you can use. So they're both plain on both sides so you can print like makeup, bride, bridal bags, birthday bags. These are really, really handy for you to use and there's lots and lots of space inside those too. So when you are using something like this, I would recommend, <laughs> excuse me, putting a piece of card inside such like that so there's no leakage through the other side too. And if you are doing tote bags, please put some in inside there too so there's no leakage. So I'm just going to pop those over. So to start with, I'm just going to explain how I've got my images onto these screens. So if you have a Cricut machine, what I've done is I have picked out my image. So I've gone with two, so I've got a layer, so I can layer it over just like that. So I'll let one dry and then get the second one on top and then so there's no damage to the image that's underneath. So when you've cut it out, make sure, if you're aware with a Cricut, you always mirror your stuff when you're doing iron on. But we are not iron on on this. We are doing, we have to have it backwards because when, once you've put your screen on, your image on here, you need to flip it over and then we'll be screen printing from that way. So as you can see off by this one, I have Be Happy and it's obviously backwards, but when you've put it on, you'll be screen printing that way and that's the way that the ink seeps through these images on here. I don't know if you can see on this, I have got some frog tape that we sell in store on online too. I cannot recommend this enough to use if you are going to do a bit of screen printing. You'd make sure that there is no gaps all the way around. I've purposely put one on the side of here for you to see. As you can see on there, it's a bit of a gap. So if I accidentally went and put my ink through this side, it would seep through and damage in what's underneath. So when you are doing your screen printing, please 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 wash them straight as whatever you have finished because if you start leaving it it'll start seeping through and there'll be blockage on there and then you won't be able to reprint so if you can i'm going to show you how what i mean 
all this brown marking on there is where it's stained onto here. So if I wanted to put my image underneath this area and I put my ink going over, it wouldn't seep through this area because it's already been damaged on there. But we should be fine because all this area is nice and clean. You can clean these off and take this off and put new images on and keep going and going and going. If you look after your tools, your tools will then look after you. So I'm going to get started with my first layer. I'm just going to pop this to the side. So I'm using some of our packs of card today. The daisy. I'm going to have the craft card. We have the white card. And I do have some coloured card pastel that's down at the side. And I'm also going to attempt it on one of our stretch canvases that we have. All our stretch ca our canvases are on free for two at the moment, so please check those out. They're really, really, really good deals on these. Um, but we'll have a practice with that at the end and see how that goes. Right, so I'm just going to grab a plain white card to start with. So don't forget, you need to make sure that you're happy with where your image is on here. So you can move it around depending on where you want it. So I'm going to put my card flat down first, and then I'm going to put my screen straight over the top so you just need to do a bit of adjusting to make sure that you have got it in the right spot but don't worry if it goes a bit to the left or a bit to the right or up or down you can literally have a good few goes is to get used to it and how it works for you so i'm going to start off with my yellow so i'm just going to open that up there we go so i'm going to get quite a generous amount on there because i don't want to be any gaps in between and then I'm going to put that all the way across there, like so. So I want to make sure, if you are doing it, that it is covered, then it will completely go over this way there, like that. So I'm just going to get a fresh clean one, because I've got quite, I need to use two today, because I'm going to doing two different colours. But you can wash them off in between, and then do a lot of set of prints. So you can get a good few prints out of this paint. It, all of that is just not going to be, all that paint's not going to be used just for one image. So I'm just going to go and put that on there and give it a go. So you need to hold these on an angle and put a lot of pressure down onto here too so there's no movement. So I will put my hand across there and sometimes I do put my elbow on there just to get myself started. And then what you do is just slowly pull that across there. I will not go back up in the same direction or different angles. I would simply just pick up the paint again like so and then just quick bang on there and then I'm going to pull it again like that so if you have a lot of access like so you can just keep scraping it off and banging it down at the bottom keep going and then just get your spoon at the end you can take that off and then put it back in so you do get a lot of lot of use out of this I've had this for quite a while I've been doing a lot of um, prints and stuff with this and I've not really made a dent into it please have a go and check it out for yourselves i'm just going to pop this to the side i hope you guys can see okay i'm a bit nervous for the reveal of this because i'm excited i'm just going to hold at the bottom and then slowly pull it away as you can see it's come out really really well but i've just done it a bit lower but that's not a problem whatsoever the, this is the whole point of making your own crafts and doing things at home and personalized you don't have to be perfect so because i've done that there i'm going to pop that over there i'm just going to do a few more i'm going to do one on this craft card here so you can see how it looks on there too so i'm going to pop that back down on there again i'm actually going to turn it around just to make it a bit easier and just mix it up a little bit and then i can pop that there I'm quite happy with that get you squeeze it again Obviously, there's quite a lot on there, but I'm still going to put some more on just because it's good. It's better to have more than not enough. There we go. And then I am just going to pull at that again. Just because this is of a bit of a darker material that's underneath, I'm just going to do it again just to make sure there is enough coverage at the bottom. There. And there we go. Let's have a look how that's come out very cute i absolutely love it so this is sort of becoming a very vintage you sort of look this is, if you are into craft making and you have to constantly keep making lots and lots and lots of cards this is a really really good way for you to make loads and loads of prints and it's just good good fun too instead of drawing everything out yourself this is just a good way to 
do multiple stuff. So, because I've got all this on there, I would probably, and if I've left it on there a few good few times, I would start washing it off so this bit doesn't get um, hardened in there, then I won't be able to use that image or that area on the screen anymore. So, I'm just going to scrape this back up and just put it, <coughs> excuse me, back in. And there we go. I'm going to pop that to the, <coughs> to the side. So, I've already got some pre-card already dry for us to go. I'm just going to flatten that out again on there. <coughs> and then I'm going to line up my second image, that's my be happy. So you just need to do a bit of fiddling around and, and then get it where you want it. So I can see that my hexagon is under there and up there too, because if you see it's all the way through. <coughs> and then I'm going to get my black paint. So if you do want slight heat activated one, where you make, so you make sure that you're more comfortable with knowing that your, in, your ink is going to stay on there, there is one in store for you to do too, if you're wanting to have a go. There's also, um, I don't know if you guys already know, but there is workshops online currently running, which are class pencil workshops, which is our inspirational pillar. So there's literally lots of painting going on on there. There's there's bracelet making. There's all sorts of stuff going on. So make sure you check it out. I do have some of my workshops on my own up there that they are landscape watercolour paintings. There's floral paintings and stuff like that if you're into watercolours. And they're all beginner lessons for you to, to learn and, and then to carry on doing your own bits really. It's got lots of good, lot of good things going on with Hobbycraft at the moment. So please check our page out. So... I'm quite happy with that. I've got enough paint on there. And then same again. This is my second one. As you can see, it's been used <laughs> very much. Um, and then I'm going to go <coughs> across there again. So let's hope this goes through very nice for us. So as you can see, the black does a lot of coverage. So make sure that you pull all the way along. And then make sure you definitely, definitely wash the black off because you do not want this staining your screen. It's going to pop it away there and stick it on my tissue. I'm a bit scared, a bit nervous, but it's all right. Let's have a peel. Oh my goodness. And we've got some B cards. I absolutely love it. So sometimes if it does a bit where it looks like this, where it's a bit like um, got empty spaces, just go over again. This will happen, but this is the whole point of doing your own craft and stuff like you learn from your mistakes and obviously you can prove yourself. So I'm quite happy the way that that, <coughs> with that looks. And I think doing these with Christmas is absolutely amazing. If you like doing Christmas cards and stuff like that, I would really, really recommend you having a go. So we have some questions. Yeah, cool. Um, it's probably a good time to... <laughs> <coughs> um, so Nicola um, has said, really enjoying this, uh, can you buy the screens um, and templates in store? I believe you made your own uh, I've made, templates. Yeah, I've made my own templates with my Cricut machine. Um, you, loads and loads of images that are on there for you to choose from. You can design your own. If you do design your own, you can put them onto the app, onto your phone, your iPad, your computer, and then download it on the... So say if you want to have like your handwriting or grandparents handwriting or anything like that, you could literally download your image off your phone onto the app, then you could put them onto cushions, onto t-shirts, and it's really, really nice to make personal crafts for yourself and your family too. And we do sell the screens in store. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Um, <coughs> and Sarah, um, Sarah Jane has asked, um, what material did you make the template with? Um, and also, if someone doesn't have a cricket, what would be the best way for them to do it? So I used a vinyl for this. Um, I have gone and bought individual sheets, four sheets, just so it's a nice and flat thing to put on. Um, with what was the question again? Sorry. Just with um, so yeah, material. what was what was material did you use? And yeah. if someone doesn't have a cricket, how would you? If you don't you have it? a cricket, you can sort of do your own templates by cutting it out on. I'd probably card probably would be best but you have to have a really steady hand if you want in, like, really detailed images and then you could sort of tape that down too but just bear it in mind um you might have bleeds in that underneath but if you put a lot of pressure down so say if you've put your screen oh goodness i've put paint on there say if you put your um 
your screen down on there now like that all of this has got to be really flat for it to work but i don't see why you can't buy images and stuff like that for screen printing online on etsy ebay and amazon and stuff like that so yeah this is very new for us so this is this is why i've made mine on my cricut machine but there will be plenty of different ways for you to do this too i'm Perfect. just gonna get that yeah. off there because i've made a bit of a mess that's per usual i'm just gonna say hello to um Amber is saying, um, oh my God, I'm going to Hobbycraft tomorrow. <laughs> um, so that's great. Oh, thank um, you. Owen wants to enter the competition. So all the details are on the Hobbycraft website. Yep. Um, so check it out on there and also on the Facebook page. Um, Sarah Jane saying, good so far. Um, Nicola, oh yeah, we already did Nicola. Liz has said hi. Um, Fiona says uh, she wants to book a lesson with you. Um, <laughs> Keith Ainsworth says, uh, yeah, my husband. Says hi. hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Sarah has said, I haven't done screen printing since I was at school. I love doing it. So, it's, it's yeah, great. thank you very much, guys. I have literally made the biggest mess on the <laughs> table ever. So, I'm just going to use some little bits around me just to cover. There we go, magic, <laughs> all done. So, um, right, I've got some bits of fabric and stuff around me for you to have a look at to see how well that goes i'm probably going to make more of a mess so please bear in mind if i have fingerprints all over the place but that's just the way that i am i'm very messy i get told all the time i drop things and i'm very clumsy but it's all okay right so i'm gonna just get my other screen again and then i'm gonna try it on this piece of fabric on here on our bunting that we have in store I'm going to have to move it probably a bit lower because I don't want it to be on there. Let's have a look. Right, so that's on there and I'm just going to put a bit more on here. There we go. So I'm just going to see how this works. Probably because there's a bit of wood under here making a bit of lift, so I'm not too sure how well this is going to go, but let's give it a go anyway. So there's nothing wrong with having mistakes doing arts and crafts. We all, we all do them all the time. I can tell you that I do a lot of mistakes in my work, but there's nothing wrong with that. So I'll pop that back down on there. Fingers crossed. <laughs> let's have a look how this goes. So it's literally, I'm not, it's not gone through more than enough because I need to have a proper bit of flat surface. I'm not bothered that it's done that at all because things like this do happen when you're doing arts and graphs. But I'm probably just going to go for one of the bags instead and see how that works. It is me how I'm using it, so don't be afraid to do this. So I'm going to go for it on this one instead. Also, this paint dries really, really quick too. So that could be another reason why my paint hasn't always gone all the way through because as you can see on there, I've already painted and it might have just simply just dried off a bit too quick. So you say um, it's worth cleaning stuff off yeah, instantly 100%, as soon as you do yeah, your screen? Yeah, clean, clean. As soon as you use something, as you can see, it dries up very, very quick. So having a nice, cool temperature room would be really ideal in this situation. So I'm just going to move that around instead. <clears throat> right, so let's have a go at that. I love doing stuff like this. I like learning new things and how to better myself when I'm doing stuff like this. So literally, I'm just doing this for the first time on fabric for you guys right here. So please, please be kind. <laughs> but I've really enjoyed making um, lots of cards and stuff for friends and family by doing this way. It's a lot lot easier way to do it rather than using stickers or just like doing like lots of hand painting which do take a long time this is a very quick way for you guys to do it so let's get that on there i'm hoping that's come out a bit nicer yeah so because you can see on here there's a lot of bits that i've missing so that is where my screen has started to dry all the way through but I quite like the things that we all look like this and having misprints and stuff because obviously painting and doing these sort of crafts aren't always perfect. So I've not got any issues with these little markings and stuff like that. So I probably need to let that dry before I would like to put a second layer on. So I 
the first card that I have done before that has dried now. So they do try, it does dry out really, really quickly. And then I'm going to put a second layer of black on the top of there. So I'm just going to slowly put that down on there. There we go. Right. <coughs> and I'll get my squeegee. So I'm just going to hold down. I've got lots of paint at the bottom. So I'm just going to push that all the way up. Quite a lot of pressure. And I just want to go over it again just to make sure that there's enough on there. So you can do this as many times as you need to make sure you've got lots of coverage, but make, only just do it in the one direction. You don't want to be going back and forth on yourself because it will start being blurry underneath. So, see how that's come through. There we go. And that's another screen print on another card there. So as you need to do, make sure you do dry in between and as before, as I was saying, when you do your bits, instead of doing it how I've showed you today, is when you do one layer, then the second layer, do lots and lots of layers like this first. So get loads of them out of the way. Clean your screen once you've done probably like 10, we could do 10, 20, as many as you need. Clean it off. The time that you've cleaned it off, you can ready to go for your second one. And then you can start doing your second layer onto your cards and it'll start coming out like this for you. Cool, we've got a few more comments. Yep. Uh, so Emma uh, has said you're doing brilliantly, love Thank your designs. You. Um, Rugil has said, um, looks awesome, Beth, love the design. Um, Michael has said, well cleaned up. <laughs> <laughs> Typical um, Michael there. Yeah. Um, and uh, so a Amber has asked how much is it? I don't know if she's referring to the kit or, um, or the individual so bits. Individually, um, um, the paints are £10 each. But it's it's a good price because it's you know it's good quality with your paint because you can get cheaper stuff and then it doesn't work as well. But like I said before, um, I've had this for quite a long time now. I'm gonna and I've used it quite a lot. So I keep don't forget when you've got your squeegee and stuff like that, you can scrape it off and put it back in. So then you've got like no wasting and you can just keep using and using and using and you get quite a lot out of it too. So as you can see with that, I've used quite a lot of black too because I'll do a little practice with other prints there's still lots of there's absolutely laws in there and it's really good like thickness as well so it's not very watery it's not going to go everywhere but like me I just make messes every, everywhere that I go so with the prices um, <laughs> the squeegees I think are um, I think they're eight pounds each and the screens are I think the 12 I think, I think that's if I'm right they're about 12 pounds each but they're really really good use to keep washing them keep looking after them but before if you've not caught it already I'm just going to show you again we have our grab and go um, art kit for screen printing so it's non-toxic and water soldable and then we have it literally has a list of everything that you have inside and um, obviously you've got your screen your squeegee all your paints and I think this is around 42 pounds if I'm correct but it is really really worth it because you've got everything that you need you don't need to ruin your spoons from the kitchen like I've just grabbed mine out of upstairs now so I won't be too happy about that in the morning but it's all right but and then you've got also different paints in here and then you've got ink fluid so you've got everything that you need in this set for you to go and then you can grab yourself all the bits like I said before with, like with the bag uh, paper and stuff like that so I'm just using the card that we have in store um, which are I think they're about 50 pack they're a really really good bargain to grab yourself also you can do these on canvases with screen printing um, but just because my screens have probably dried up now I don't want to make a, um, more of a mess than I need to on this but with, there is a free for two on all our canvases in store so it's really good to grab yourself a good few of these um, and then do some screen printing <laughs> great uh, Sharon said love it Lisa said thank you uh, Liz has said looks fab um, and Ashley has given a tip um, saying you can draw or print a design and then use a craft knife to cut out your stencil yeah yeah that's yeah exactly what I was explaining yeah. before just get yourself some bits of heavy heavy card and you cut out whatever shapes you need if you're doing hearts and then you're ready to go great um, so I would like to just talk about the, um, the RCA competition again 
Um, so uh, I'm just going to play a little thing. Um, Beth, you have the details for that still? Yes, so I... There. Oh, under, oh, it's all right. So with the Artists <laughs> of the Year competition, so it's before juniors, adults and students. So if you check that out on our website, all the information is on there for it and you get do win a bundle worth of £300 worth of goodies and stuff for you, to, for, you, for you to use on different arts and crafts and stuff like that. Um, there is also, I was saying before, there is workshops going on in, st in store and online for you to you to join in so if you're still st still isolating at home saying at the extra extra say there is workshops for you to come and join in but there is sanitary stations all around the store the school screens up at the tills so we are completely safe for you to come around and anything that you need to make you feel more comfortable we are more than happy to help you all all you out as much as we can so please come into our stores and if not please join our workshops that are online perfect and we have next week's facebook live yes so we've also got a quick book pouring with, with Rachel toy so I don't know if anyone's seen that before it's where you mix lots of paints up you'll pour it onto canvases different materials and stuff I would really, really recommend you checking that out because it's absolutely really good fun for you guys to do and also Rachel is really really amazing artist too so please check her out also perfect yeah and I think I am done with my screen printing I want to say thank you all for joining me today I really really appreciate it and I hope to see you some, some pictures of what you guys have been up to